Welcome, 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 guys. Welcome back to another episode of Random Talks with Hannah S. I want to say a huge thank you to every one of you. Let me take this opportunity because I, I, I feel like it's been a long time that I said thank you to all of you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for always engaging my videos. Thank you for your likes. Thank you for your shares. Thank you for always dropping your comments. Thank you for those of you or to those of you who have subscribed. Thank you very much. And if you are here to subscribe, you are thinking about it. What are you waiting for? Today is the day for you to just click that subscribe button now, now, now. Eh? Just, you get blessed. You love what I do. Help me, encourage me. Please subscribe. And if this is your first time of seeing me on YouTube, you are welcome. I have titled this space. I have called this space Random Talks with Anna F. And on Random Talks with Anna F, what I talk to you about is anything and everything relationship. Your relationship with God, your relationship with your spouse or spouse to be, and your relationship with other people. If this is something that interests you, this is something you would like to to know more about maybe to just know for your own good or maybe you'd like to teach other people you are welcome to this space it's such a safe space right we treat ourselves with respect and as family right so yeah you are in the right place take a moment to subscribe you can take a moment also to binge watch all of my previous videos and to this video will not be any exception it's going to bless you all my videos are hit back to back you know so you are welcome Today we are going to be considering a, top, a topic I have titled Managing Expectations in Relationships or Expectations in Relationships or Expectations in Marriage, right? So how can you manage your expectations in your relationship, um, be it your romantic relationship or your platonic relationship? How can you manage your expectations? It's not a bad thing for you to expect a certain individual to do certain things right but there's this popular saying that goes your spouse or your friend or whoever is in the um whoever is the subject of conversation is not else shall die else he shall die or else she shall die you know uh a lot of times we we expect so much from other people we expect that you go okay so i expected you to do this i expected you to do that uh, okay as i'm going into a relationship or as i'm starting out with friendship with this person these are my expectations i expect that this person will pour into me as much as i pour into her or as much as i pour into him i expect that this person will have my back as much as i have their back i expect that this person will come through for me as much as i come through for them i expect you know a lot of us if i ask you now if i just mention your name directly maybe we are having a conversation and i tell you lagbaja what is your expectation towards this person or towards this thing that you are doing with this person i am sure that we will have more than two things to say we all have expectations when it comes to things we involve ourselves in things we put our strength into we all have expectations however however something that so many of us forget is that people cannot do more than their capacity they can't do more than their power and the earlier you realize that the better for you as much as expectation is not a bad thing expectation brings room for or gives room for disappointment when you don't expect anything from anybody okay so for instance now a, a mother is coming back from work and she calls she calls home to say um this person bring out the frozen food we have inside the freezer let the thing be defrosting before i get back home now she already expects that by the time she gets back home she's going to meet defrosted meat or defrosted fish or whatever it is that we are bringing out of the freezer now she gets home and she sees that oh these people did not do what i asked them to do because she had that expectation she is bound to get disappointed right and if she meets her expectation maybe she gets home and she sees that okay they've done what she asked them to do that gives her satisfaction right on the flip side 
as the expectation will bring satisfaction when it's being met it brings disappointment when it's not being met so how do you manage your expectations in your relationship i'm going to give you four tips on how to manage your expectation in your relationship i i'm talking when i say relationship now i'm talking about maybe your romantic relationship or your platonic relationship number one is that know and accept the fact that we are all humans and humans are fallible we are humans and humans are fallible give room for errors right give room for errors when you expect that this person will do right by you i'm talking romantic relationship now you expect that your partner does not cheat on you you expect as platonic relationship you expect that your friend has your back you know your friend is supporting you you know your your friend is your ride or die you expect that thing you expect that particular quality that particular characteristics remember that we are all humans there are always moments of weakness right and the fact that you don't give in to your moment of weakness does not mean that another person will not give in or cannot give in to their moments of weakness always remember that we are all humans and we are fallible so you give rooms for error like that or for errors as the case may be like that when it happens that or if it happens that somebody falls into error somebody you have highly esteemed somebody that you have highly expected so much from if it happens that they they fall into error you will know you already have allowance for it that okay human beings will hume we will do what we are um sometimes we will fall sometimes we will do what we are not supposed to do and like that it will not really it will not really throw you off balance right it might throw your balance initially but you will be able to gather your thoughts and yourself back asap right so number one is no Rem always remember no and always remember that we are humans and we are fallible so give room for errors number two is extend grace when errors happen it is highly important that you extend grace when errors happen if error doesn't happen fine all fine and good all well and good we thank god but when errors happen or if errors if any error should happen extend grace know that even you that you are being disappointed you are not perfect you can also disappoint other people so extend grace give grace though that's not the time for you to be saying eh it ought not to be you i expected so much i gave you so can you no extend grace when errors or if errors happen number three communicate your expectations communicate your expectations people don't read they can't read minds they don't have the ability to read my oh well let me say normal people don't have the ability to read minds you know we have superpowers you may be one of those people that have that superpower of you know uh reading people's minds but more often than not normally on a normal how things run people don't have the ability to read mind communicate your expectation you want your spouse to do something for you communicate you want your partner to do something for you communicate you expect that your friend will do something communicate sometimes people don't have the gumption people don't know that this is what they're supposed to do you may think that they should know i am like that too i may think uh -uh, Elsa, why are you doing this you should know the right thing to do but the truth is they don't know so communicate because when you don't communicate you don't necessarily have the right to be mad or to be angry to be pissed when things are not going your way have you have you said something to this person you are expecting something from or you just automatically believe that okay if this person cares about me if this person loves me he or she should be able to figure out that this is what i want to know and this particular point is majorly on my gender my gender you know too do. We expect that this other gender will understand what we are going through. We know what we are going through without us talking about it. Sometimes it does not work like that. Sometimes it works that way. So if you have not communicated your expectation, you necessarily do not have any rights. You don't necessarily have any rights to say that, okay, you are angry or you are pissed that your expectations are not being met. So please communicate your expectation the last one but not the least number four is lower your expectations 
lower your expectation. See, the more you realize that nobody actually owes you anything, the better for you, honestly. Lower your expectation. Stop expecting anything from anybody. When I nearly got married, I was talking to my husband. I said, I didn't come to this, I didn't come into this marriage with any expectation other than I met you as a child of God and I expect that you continue to be a child of God. That I told my husband that, that okay, I expect that you, that's the only expectation. Because I know that if you keep being a child of God, other things will fall into place. I don't expect that you pay my bills. Of course, they say um, husband should take care of the family and all of those things. But I don't necessarily expect that if I don't see you, I can't do stuff. If I can't, no, I'm not going to burden you with that kind of thing. Right? I didn't, I, I had that conversation with him. So lower your expectation for people. Know that people will always be people. Telling somebody that didn't appoint you in the first place that I am disappointed in you is is very wild. It's very wild. It's a very wild behavior. Who appoints you in the first place or who appointed you in the first place that you are saying you are disappointed? Who? So know that, see, people will always be people. Like Pastor Mildred will say, human beings will hum. Lower your expectations for people. Don't say, ah, you shouldn't have been you. I regard you too much. No, you Obama I didn't expect that. Ha, ha. Who says, <laughs> lower your expectations for people. You lower your, and that would, that would, um, that is invariably talking about my point one. Know that we are all fallible. People will make errors. People will fall into errors. They will make mistakes. So when you lower your expectations, like the rate at which you expect from people, you don't have to have expectation for everyone you meet in your life. It's okay to just live life. It's okay for somebody to just be there. If they do, fine. If they don't, fine. It's okay for you to just live and just be okay by your own self. It's okay. Don't expect too much from somebody because eh, because the person is your boyfriend. Eh, the person should now be the one to um, be sponsoring your lifestyle because he has done the greatest mistake of his life to come and ask you out. I don't get it. Because this person loves you and she knows how to cook and she's your babe. So that means that she should be cooking for you. Somebody you have not married though. Even the person that you have married itself, shouldn't be shouldn't you be considerate? You know what I'm saying? I expect that you too, that you are doing birthday. That people did not, um, somebody did not message you to say happy birthday. Uh, I expect that if every other person will not greet me, it shouldn't be this person. Do you know what that person is going through? Know why your expectations for people let people breathe and you too let yourself breathe because really when you don't have expectations like i said you you will not give room for disappointment such that when they do it's fine when they when they don't do it is equally fine all right and that will bring us to the end of this episode of random talks with anna s please drop your comments what do you think about what i have said are you have you been disappointed by somebody because you expected something from them and they didn't come through or has somebody expressed disappointment in you because you didn't meet up to their expectations or to their standard how were you able uh, were you able to navigate that situation please drop your comments i want to hear from you please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up also subscribe if you have not subscribed and turn on your post notification and until the next time i catch you on another episode of random talks with anna f be well be good stay safe and always remember that jesus loves you bye